Today we are going to explain a science fiction, action thriller movie called, Criminal. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens with a CIA agent Bill Pope running away from the goons of a renowned businessman named Savior somewhere in London. He has a bag stacked with cash and a Russian passport in it. He tries to take public transport but he realizes he's being stalked. He finally takes a cab and speeds away. Elsa, in charge of the goons, catches a glimpse of the number plate on the cab and reports it back to Xavier. Meanwhile, Bill uses the cab driver's phone to report his location to the CIA. He then instructs the cab driver to take him to a certain old factory. On the other hand, Xavier traces them and sends his men after Bill. When the driver takes Bill somewhere else instead of the old factory, Bill becomes suspicious. He pulls out his gun and tells the man to stop the car. Elsa and his goons shoot the cab driver and aim at Bill. Outnumbering Bill, the goons catch him. Back in the CIA headquarters, Director Quaker becomes concerned for Bill, so he tracks the cab driver's phone GPS and sends an entire extraction team to rescue Billy. Meanwhile, Bill is tied down to a chair and is interrogated by Xavier, who asks where the Dutchman is. Xavier tortures Bill with a taser for staying silent, resulting in his death. The extraction team shows up and tries to revive Bill, but he passes away. The scene then cuts to the US government sending an agent to fly Dr. Franks to their headquarters. Franks has currently developed a tool through which he can transfer for memories of one living organism to another, which is currently of the CIA's interest since they are desperate to get inside Bill's memories. Though, Franks hasn't had human trials. He refuses to work with them, but the agent states that they're facing a national threat at a very high level, so his consent doesn't matter. He agrees to join them, but he demands that he needs his equipment, staff, and a recipient to whom they can transfer Bill's memories. Franks suggests a recipient who goes by the name Jericho who is currently imprisoned. The extraction team is sent to bail him out. The warden tells the team that Jericho is the type of guy who has the consciousness of a 10-year-old who doesn't acknowledge how things are felt or worked. The extraction team isn't interested in his bio data, so they get straight to the point and fly Jericho to the England port where Franks is awaiting them. They put Jericho inside the plane and take off. They ask Jericho about his head injury. He reveals that when he was 10, his father threw him out of the running car because he found out from his wife that Jericho wasn't his son. On the other hand, Xavier appears as a guest on a news broadcast where he openly addresses the treason charges put on him by the Spanish government. He reveals that his agenda is to expose the world's most powerful criminal organizations. When he's asked if he's trying to overthrow the Spanish government, he replies that he's trying to overthrow any government bank, religious fanatic, police, or any corporation that is brainwashing the society. In the next scene, Franks and his staff enter the CIA headquarters with Jericho who's been given a new haircut. They have Bill's brain artificially alive by keeping him on the ventilator. They put Jericho beside him on another bed and conduct the surgery, which is a top secret project that isn't even told to Jill Pope, Bill's wife. One of the staff members reveals that they chose Jericho as their recipient because he has frontal lobe syndrome, due to which his frontal lobe stays in an undeveloped state. This allows the scientists to repattern his brain. Dr. Frank finally conducts a complicated brain surgery on Jericho. When Jericho wakes up, Quaker kicks everyone out except Frank's. He goes hard on Jericho, which makes his head hurt. Dr. Frank also suggests jogging his memory lightly, but Quaker starts asking him about the Dutch programmer Jan Struck. He tries to remind him that he is Bill Pope and that he took the CIA's money to make a deal with January Jan has access to all kinds of missiles and weaponry of the US, so he must tell where the Dutchman is. Unfortunately, Jericho claims that he remembers nothing. In a fit of rage, Quaker has his agents kick Franks and his staff out including Jericho. The CIA re-watches Jan's videotape in which he claims to have hacked into the SHIELD Vigilant, Emergency Command, and Control System of the US military. He can authorize and activate any weapon from their arsenal. Jan demands that he will hand over the authority to the US government if the CIA advances him by giving full protection from third parties involved, a Russian passport, and $10 million. Currently, Jan secretly calls Bill from a local landline and finds out about his death from Jill. Meanwhile, Jericho is zip-tied and given back to the cops. Before leaving, Frank pops a pill in Jericho's mouth, which helps him get rid of the headaches. When they reach the highway, he quietly rips a metal piece from the car window, bends it from the front, and stabs the driver in the neck with it. This causes a great commotion in the car, and they get into a terrible accident. Jericho gets out of the car and goes to inspect the other guy whose car they had hit. He takes the lit cigarette from the stranger's car and throws the boy in the cop's car. He throws the lit cigarette on a leaking patrol, causing the car to explode. He heads back to the city where he steals food from a local fast food place and steals some people's van after brutally beating them. While driving, his head starts pounding and he gets flashbacks of Bill's home security passwords and his family. He breaks into his home and tapes Jill to her bed. He removes the tape from Jill's mouth and asks where she's hiding the bag. When Jericho realizes Jill knows nothing, he tapes her mouth again. He then steals money and jewelry and goes away. Behind his back, Jill breaks free from the tapes and hits the silent alarm that notifies the CIA. They call their landline. Jericho 
who is about to head out, picks up the call and apologizes for his wife, mistakenly having the alarm pressed. To sound convincing, he gives them the secret code to deactivate the alarm and leaves the house. On the contrary, Jan watches a video message from his client Xavier, who is desperate after Jan has canceled his deal with him. He threatens him to show up and give him access to the wormhole, but since Jan has seen his real side, he has called the deal off and is in hopes that the CIA will protect him from Xavier. Subsequently, Marta and Ruza show up at Quaker's office. Ruza states that Jill has mentioned to the officers that the man who broke into her home knew every Pasco that only Bill knew. Besides that, her description of the intruder perfectly matches Jericho. Marta states that the forensic reports of the burnt officers in Jericho from the car explosion have also arrived, confirming that the third person wasn't Jericho. Meanwhile, Jericho sells Jill's stolen jewelry at the pawn shop and goes to have coffee and a muffin with the money he gets. On his way out of the shop, he's stricken with Bill's memories, but they're all scattered up in his head. He gets a vision of a library where he's hidden the bag with $10 million. He goes to the London Public Library and looks for a specific book behind which he hint the bag. Sadly, the bag isn't there. He remembers Bill's password, so he logs into Bill's ID, which alerts Quaker and his team in the CIA headquarters. They send Marta and other men to the library to interrogate and retrieve Jericho. They reach the library and get on the computer from where Jericho had logged in. They find out that he went through their phone call software and took out Dr. Frank's number. Quaker phones Frank's and alerts him about Jericho. Jericho almost runs Frank's over with his van. He takes him to a medical store to buy in the pills that can calm his mind. In the meantime, Xavier hacks the CIA and finds out about Jericho's location. Franks tries to hold Jericho inside the pharmacy until Ruza and Marta show up with other agents and take him back. In the pharmacy, Jericho confesses that he's not only getting disoriented memories of Bill in his head, but he has also unlocked skills and the intelligence of Bill. Back at the headquarters, Dr. Franks calls Quaker and requests to not hit Jericho in the head. He tells them that Jericho is after the money that Bill took from the CIA for January. He proposes to use this as bait and get Bill's memory to get a lead on January. Quaker follows the plan and takes out Jericho in his car to find January. In the middle of their quest, Xavier messes with them by adding Jan's fake facial recognition on a random stranger at the London airport. When Quaker finds out about this, he puts Jericho in Marta's car and speeds away to find Jan at the airport. Elsa and her thugs show up shooting at Jericho. Marta gets shot in the chest, but Jericho gets inside her car and drives it off the bridge and straight into the river. One of his thighs gets injured while getting out of the car and swimming back to the surface. While crippling, Jericho runs away. Meanwhile, Quaker and his team reach the airport, only to find out they've been fooled. He gets his team to trace Jericho, their only lead to Jan, but they lose track of him. Jericho goes to Bill's home, the only place he remembers. He goes down to the basement and uses the password-protected first aid kit to aid his wound. Jill and her daughter Emma come to their house after a day out. Jill hears some noises from the basement, so she takes out her gun from a hiding spot and goes down the basement. There, she is startled to see Jericho. Jericho finally opens up about how the CIA operated on him and put Billy's thoughts inside his head. Jill starts tearing up when he recalls their first bought car and their every Sunday breakfast. Despite not wanting to, Jill gets a soft spot for Jericho. She lets him crash their couch and make waffles since he has nowhere else to be. The next morning, the news of a mystery missile that was launched and exploded mid-air are surfaced on News Channel. Jericho remembers that this is Jan's doing. He also recalls where Bill had hidden Jan and the bag of cash. He asks Jill to give him her car and the key to her university's library where she teaches. He remembers that he had hidden the bag behind the rare books that are kept in a glass room. He goes to the university. Meanwhile, Elsa shows up threatening Jill and her daughter. Jill has no other option but to tell where Jericho has left. At the university, Jericho finally finds the bag. Sadly, Xavier and Elsa show up and ruin his moment. They manipulate Jericho by keeping Jill and Emma hostage because they know Bill's thoughts had taken over Jericho's dumb head. He takes him and Jill out and politely asks him to reveal Jan's location. On the other hand, Quaker and the CIA find out about the Russian dealer who was coming with a team to take Jan away because he has signed the deal with them now. Quaker takes the chopper while the rest of the team goes into hiding mode. They follow the Russian truck which leads them to Jan's location. On the contrary, Jericho reveals that he had stashed Jan and Jill office at the university. Xavier and his people take Jericho and Jill with them, but due to seeing the CIA having a shoot-off with the Russians, Xavier runs away with Jill and Emma, leaving Elsa to take care of the business. Elsa and her thugs walk through the chemistry lab where Jericho uses Bill's reflexes and makes an explosion with the acids. He approaches Jan alone as the others rot in the explosion. He gives him the money and the passport, but in return he gets him to do something with the USB drive in which he has the wormhole installed, due to which he can authorize and activate the military arsenal. 
Elsa shows up and shoots both of them. She takes the drive and reports it to Xavier. Jerica wakes up and smacks her head until she dies. He takes her tracking device and the USB drive and walks out. He steals an ambulance, chases off the cops, and heads straight to Xavier to save Jill and Emma. There he fights the thugs to save Jill. Xavier takes notice of this and puts a gun on Emma's head. Jericho is forced to surrender and throw the drive in his direction. Xavier takes the drive and flees in his plane. He authorizes a missile to launch at the airport where Jericho and Jill currently are. Quaker and his team show up. Quaker starts scolding and cussing at Jericho for letting the drive slide away. Jericho relieves everyone by revealing that he ordered Jan to fix Xavier as the first missile launch no matter where the missile launches. His statement turns out to be true when the missile comes in Xavier's plane's direction. The film ends with the CIA uniting Jericho with Jill and Emma. Upon observing his behavior with his family, Quaker finds Jericho a perfect fit and plans on giving him an official job at the CIA. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.